Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com. Real quick opportunity to pause the video so you can learn where to find us online. Okay, now that that's done, let's take a look at what we have here. We have an Electra 7 power folding wheelchair with an armrest, an HD armrest extension kit that we're going to take off. So you're going to need a total of five tools for this. One, the larger Allen wrench that comes with the two Allen wrenches that are part of the chair, or come with the chair, and the original screws that we really hope and that we really pray that everybody keeps very close accountability of because you definitely need those. The ones that you now have in the chair with the arm extension kit are not going to work. So before, if you're watching this video before you get the kit, make certain to put these screws that come from the factory in the chair in a very safe place and do not lose them. Okay, onto the chair. So let's take a look here. We're just going to lock the one side in place. We'll start with the easy side and just kind of same Allen wrench, same motion. Find that the cap itself may come with the, there we go. So put that away. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side here. Oh. Just want to pay a little bit of attention to the actual arm rest itself. It's most likely not going to fall off, but I do like to just keep track of it. So I get this out far enough. And kind of hold the armrest up so I align the HD spacer and I'm able to get both sides off. The whole apparatus just slides right off. You can set it down. I want to make certain that those washers stay in inside there. And of course I get two of the four anchor screws. And we take a look at the side here. And all we have to do is just fix that where it needs to go, slide it back, thread these guys through. Pretty simple to do here. We don't need to make it so tight that the chair is not functional, but they do go a pretty fair way in. So it's the thing. I just I don't I don't force. So kind of get those in there, and I'll, I'll nudge them now. Especially I just want to point something out real quick. Let's look at this screw here that came out. Before I put this back in, I would want to use oil and I would want to lubricate the screw itself. I want to minimize any metal filings from attachment and reattachment as many times. If, if you're going to attach and detach these on a fairly consistent basis, you don't want to strip the actual threads. So you see, I didn't do this so tight that I'm jamming it, but I did this tight enough where there's really no play in the actual chair. So. Let's take a look at the other side. We did the easy side first. So the more complicated side, turn the Electra 7 around, we see the easy latch here, we see the Durashocks, we see two 250 watt motors, reflective material, a chair that easily goes into manual mode. Not making a video about that. A couple quick pointers, so we'll go ahead and get this chair locked into place and I find that one side is a little bit easier than the other. And let's see, this, this is really not a big deal, but we do have, to, the thing to think about here is the actual joystick cord. So I just kind of like to take this a little bit slow. We've got this one, this one out here. 
Same thing. I, w I would w definitely want to lubricate that screw before I used it again. So we've got the two screws, of course, that we're going to replace this with. We've got one more screw to go. This is very simple. When you notice the armrest itself is starting to become unstable. The, the less this becomes anchored. So I'm just using my free hand to kind of hold the armrest up to make the screw easier to remove. And when I'm ready, I just kind of slide the whole apparatus off here, remove these, I'll set this down. See, this is actually, this, this is pretty tight. So one of, these, one of these got pretty tight, so I'm going to remove it and look what came off with it. So I just want to make certain that I don't have the washer with the actual spacer here. So one washer should go on either side of each armrest. This cap stayed on, that's, that's fine. If I pull the cap out, the actual spacer comes with the cap, so you would, you would note that. It's fine that the cap's there. And all we're going to do here is just align this. You may want to have the joystick off when you do this, just simply because the joystick adds more weight to the front of the chair. Now that this is on, this is more simple to work with than putting an arm rest spacer kit on just simply because there's less space. So we're reducing the armrest width from 24 and a half inches to 21 inches from the factory. Again, I'm not forcing this it's tight, but I, I really don't want to force this, especially if I plan on exchanging these spacers on a frequent basis or a semi-frequent basis. So don't say you weren't warned. It's very important. And nice and easy. You see how I'm just taking a bit of time with this. It's snug but it's not too snug i just want to make certain it's all the way in there we go let's, let's cap all the way on no okay here it is here it's not we have just a little bit more to go with the actual screw and there we go okay everything works here it looks great we'll just swing this chair around and it was that easy that simple to take the armrest spacer kit off of the chair chair is restored to the way it came from the factory that is the Electro 7, folks.